हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम शमशुद्दीन आई वेलकम यू फिनेंशियल अकाउंटिंग क्लासेस इन दिस क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस टू एंड फाइव मार्क्स क्वेश्चंस एंड आंसर्स इन सिंगल एंट्री सिस्टम लेट अस बिगिन द क्लास इन दिस क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस फ्यू क्वेश्चंस व्हिच मे आस्क फॉर टू मार्क्स एज वेल एज फाइव मार्क्स section based on the section we must write important points in those questions two marks must be written either two or three lines whereas in case of five marks you must write at least five six points given in this section let us continue the discussion what is single entry system of bookkeeping single entry system means a system of maintaining the accounting records of the business transactions in a manner convenient to a particular trader where the principle of double entry system is not applied for all the transactions it is an incomplete form of bookkeeping state any two features of single entry system this system is adopted by sole traders or a partnership firm or small business units under this only cash book is maintained and all personal and business transactions are recorded in this book only personal accounts are maintained and nominal accounts are not maintained to prepare the balance sheet so as to know the correct financial position of the business to maintain the chances of misappropriation and frauds in business this system provides only partial information about business this system maintains less number of books and the principle of double entry system is not applied for each and every transaction it is incomplete and scientific unsatisfactory and inaccurate system of bookkeeping this system is suitable for petty and small business units this question may be asked for 5 marks state any two benefits of a single entry system it is simple system of bookkeeping under this system limited books of accounts are maintained it is economical system where few books are maintained it is easy to understand and maintain the books of accounts this system is suitable for small concerns state any two demerits of single entry system under this system no trial balance is prepared hence the arithmetic accuracy cannot be checked no nominal accounts are maintained under this system hence profit and loss account cannot be prepared no the real and personal accounts other than debtors and creditors accounts are maintained in this system hence it is not possible to know the exact financial position of business since the exact value of assets and liabilities are not available therefore the sale price of the business cannot be ascertained since the accounts are incomplete 
and misappropriation and frauds cannot be detected easily what is statement of affairs statement of affairs is a statement containing the various assets and liabilities of the business as on a particular date it is similar to the balance sheet and it is prepared under single entry system in order to ascertain the capital on a particular date how do you ascertain credit sales under single entry system credit sales are the sales made by trader to his or her customers on credit under single entry system credit sales are ascertained by preparing total bills receivable and total debtors accounts how do you calculate credit sales credit sales are the sales made by trader to his or her customers on credit under single entry system these sales are ascertained by preparing total bills receivable and debtors accounts state any two advantages of conversion of single entry system the following are the advantages of conversion of single entry system first one to have the complete records of all the transactions in the books of account to prepare trial balance for checking arithmetic accuracy of the books of accounts to prepare the trading account and profit and loss account for ascertaining the correct profit or loss of the business this system does not maintain uniformity and differ from firm to firm why do prepare the bills receivable account bills receivable account is prepared in order to find out either opening balance or closing balance of bills receivable or acceptances received from debtors during the year or cash received against the bills why total debtors account is prepared total debtors account is prepared in order to find out either opening balance or closing balance of debtors or cash received from debtors or credit sales made during the year why you prepare total creditors account total creditors account is prepared in order to find out either opening balance or closing balance of creditors or cash paid to creditors or credit purchases made during the year these are the important questions which may asked in the examinations these questions are derived from previous question papers these questions either may be asked for 2 marks and sometimes there may be for 5 marks these questions must be prepared in order to get a good marks in the examination thank you jai hind